بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے ووڈ لائک ٹو ڈسکس اے ویری یگ ہیرو آف کربلا فرام دا فیملی آف اہل البیت اینڈ پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ ولی وسلم ہز نیم از قاسم سن آف امام حسن مشتبا علیہ السلاۃ والسلام سو ہی از دا گریٹ گرینڈ سن آف رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اسٹل اے ٹین ایجر ویری یگ ہی واز آلسو پرزنٹ ان کربلا الانگ ادر ممبرس آف دا فیملی آف دا پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم In the night of Ashura, after giving that historical sermon, Imam Hussain alayhi salatu was salam, when he checked the loyalty and commitment of his supporters, companions and family members, he finally gave them glide tiding of shahadat and martyrdom on the day of Ashura. He said, tomorrow all of you will be killed. All of you will be martyred and all of you will be received in Jannah by Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam himself and Amir al-Mumnin al-Yibn Abi Talib and Fatima al-Zahra and Imam Azhar al-Mushtaba. Companions of Imam Hussain were very happy to hear that. This was the great news for them. But in this crowd All of a sudden, a young boy who thought that maybe this news only includes men and not the children and boys, thought for himself to check and verify. He stood among the crowd and asked from Imam Hussain a question and said, Uncle, Yaam. Is my name is also among those who will be killed tomorrow? Allahu Akbar. That was a very difficult question for Imam Hussain to reply and respond. In place of replying directly to Qasim, Imam Hussain asked him a question. Qasim, what do you think about death? How do you feel about death in such a young age? Do you know what was the reply of Qasim? The reply of Qasim was a historical reply. A reply which made Karbala eternal. Qasim said, Am, O my beloved uncle, to be killed for you is more sweeter than honey. Ahla min al-hasali. It's more sweeter than honey. Allah. After listening to this reply and response of Qasim, Imam Hussain responded in a very strange manner and said, Yes, indeed, my son, my nephew, you will be killed. But Bada Bala in Shadeed. But after a very heavy and severe calamity, Nobody could understood and interpret what's the meaning of great calamity which will be on Qasim before being killed on the day of Ashura. Only day of Ashura revealed it. When Imam Hussain sent Qasim for war after refusing him on a number of occasions and after insisting that he must go to fight Now when Imam Hussain wanted to put shield on him, there was no shield which can fit Qasim's young body. Allahu Akbar. Historian of enemy says, I saw a young boy coming out from the camp of Hussain and his face was shining like a full moon. Allahu Akbar. But shield he was wearing was too big. And the shoes he was wearing were too big for him. 
and even the laces I remember he wrote were not tied properly. Allah. Qasim came to the battlefield. With his young age, he fought and he killed a number of the soldiers of enemy until they surrounded him from every direction and attacked him. And it is at that time when Qasim shouted for help from his uncle Hussein. Imam Hussein rushed toward the place where Qasim was surrounded by enemies and soldiers. Allahu Akbar. And when soldiers saw Hussein himself came, they started running and there was a chaos. And nobody knows what happened in this chaos. Nobody knows how Qasim fell from the horse and how he was under the horses and running and up and down of the scenario and situation. Only when dust settled, they saw Imam Hussain collecting pieces of the body of Qasim and saying how difficult and hard is for your uncle O Qasim that you call him for help and he could not reply and when he comes he could not help. History says in, in this manner he collected body of Qasim in his Abba and dragged him back toward Haram where his mother was waiting for his young son to come back. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi. Oh,